is Monday after I recorded the video. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but uh, I know for a fact I got something delivered to me. So I'm gonna crack this open, my mailbox. Uh, looks like I got something else too that I wasn't expecting. Uh, this one I was expecting, this package here. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to go on a hunt for uh, the Super Mario cereal because uh, one of my Facebook friends, he uh, found some locally. It's not at Walmart, it's at our Cup Foods in um, Minnesota apparently, or at least at one Cup Foods in Minnesota. So I'm gonna check it out and see if I can find one or two because I will open one and eat one and keep the other one just sealed because that's super cool. But uh, anyways, uh, stay tuned. Hello, this is Dr. Main. I have found some Super Mario cereal. I actually got, uh, I'm not sure well you can, I got two uh, boxes, one to keep and one for me and my daughter to eat. Um, it'll be a fun experience. You'll probably see that post done. Uh, Instagram if you want uh, I'll probably post it in this video too but uh yeah extremely excited to add that to uh <laughs> to the collection one box of cereal to my collection that'll be the oddest piece in my collection ever but uh stay tuned for some more gaming stuff hello this is Dr. May I am on my way to Best Buy hopefully they uh have a uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch I've been looking for that for a while the uh, Best Buy by my house has been uh, sold out of that for a very long time and the reason why I want to get it at Best Buy rather than any place else is I, one I get uh, I get 20% off through the Gamers Club Unlocked which is a great program so it'll only be 48 bucks and two they have a steel book there and that's the main reason why I'm trying to get it from Best Buy is they have a steel book for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe so I really want that game so uh, on to Best Buy. Hello, this is Dutchman. If you can't tell, this is, a, this is another day. Uh, I ended up getting the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with the steel book from another Best Buy, the one I went to originally was sold out. But I also did get a couple uh, Blu rays, uh, The Last Dragon, awesome movie I grew up with. So I had to grab that for 10 bucks. And these were buy one, get one free steel book. So I kind of jumped on it. Uh, Fifth Element and uh, Ghostbusters, even though I heard that Ghostbusters is not the best. Um, it's something I'll probably watch with my daughter and uh, enjoy. So uh, it was buy one, get one free. So those were essentially five bucks a piece uh, for the steel book. So I'm extremely excited <laughs> for what I grabbed real quick. So uh, I might head to Toys R Us, which is just literally kitty corner from here to see if they have any uh, Disney Infinity is on clearance still, so uh, stay tuned. Hello, this is actually me. I uh, just left the Toys R Us just a little bit ago, and uh, all they had were the starter packs, which if you didn't know, uh, the Toys R Us has uh, the 3.0 Disney Infinity starter packs for uh, $2, or $1.98 to be exact. Uh, so if you're interested in, in getting into Disney Infinity, that's the way to go. I mean, 198, you can't really complain, but I have a lot of those already, so I am going to pass on that uh, and just uh, head home uh, to uh, ship off a package. I just sold something online, so you'll see that soon. So, so stay tuned. Hello, this is Dr. Smitty with Katie Caitlin in the back, dropping off some packages. So yeah stay tuned this is dr smee and katie caitlin just picked her up from school and we are dropping off another package it's a uh three pack movie so uh nothing super special but uh yeah dropping off so stay tuned hello this is dr smee and i just walked out of my normal pawn shop and they have started to uh lower their uh xbox games to 25 cents so i went a little bit crazy and got uh 20 they actually only charged me for 19 told them that i had 20 and they were like nah it's all good because <laughs> they're just trying to get rid of it but uh 20 xbox games so this was like five bucks for this huge stack i mean it's a lot of sports titles but some of the titles are pretty uh uncommon i think so i'm gonna check them when i get home 
I uh, was able to get some exclusives. Uh, see if I can find them. Uh, I got the DDR series, which was kind of interesting, as well as the Major League Baseball World Series edition uh, because that comes with the extra disc in it. So that was pretty cool. I'll have to clean up a decent amount of these when I get home. But yeah, uh, 20 Xbox games added to the Xbox collection. collection. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, this is Dr. Smitty, and I am outside the post office dropping out a couple packages. It is earlier in the morning. I actually have an early shift compared to my normal shift. So I have to get in earlier and drop off these packages. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Hello, this is Dr. Man. I am back home wrapping up the week's grabs, gets, and all that good stuff. Uh, by the way, the subscriber contest is over. We did reach 1,000 subscribers. Not enough to do the second uh, Raspberry Pi uh, W, but we have, we have a giveaway. So uh, we had 10 likes, but five of those people did not leave a comment, so they are out. Or... Four of them didn't leave a comment, so they're out. Uh, one person uh, did not actually, like, either they have their subscriptions uh, for, for private or they're not subscribed to me, so they were also out. So it's only down to five people for the giveaway, which I will get to towards the end of the video. So I, I have the list, and I will read that out at the end and do uh, random.org for the winner. Uh, so let's get into the grabs. The only thing gaming related in the wild that I grabbed was the lot of uh, Xbox games, which again was a really good deal. So I'm going to go through that. Also, uh, before I get to that, I am going to be doing a room tour. A lot has changed since last year and a lot has changed in the last week. Uh, <laughs> changing things around and uh, doing some things. So uh that will be coming up in the next week as well. And I do have one really big thing that I picked up, which I'll show at the end of the video and elaborate more on in a future video. Without rambling on too much, let's get to the grabs. Uh, again, Xbox fine, so I'm going to go through these uh, pretty quickly. These are for the Xbox Quest. Um, typically, I would do these for the Xbox Quest, but this was all that I grabbed. <laughs> and... Uh, there's no point in doing an Xbox Quest, which will be only a couple minute video. I'll just do it in this video. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Hopefully I can find room to put this on the desk. Again, these are all a quarter, so uh, pretty good deal. Um, I'm excited to get these for a quarter. Uh, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts. Uh, that's the only one that doesn't have a label. Uh, NCAA 2K13 Complete. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, complete, but gray label. Doesn't matter for now, it's okay. Arena football. High heat baseball, I need to clean that pretty badly. Uh, 2004, to be specific. Uh, MLB Slugfest uh, 2006, complete. DDR, DDR Ultra uh, Mix, the original. Uh, DDR Ultra Mix 2. I'm going to keep going with that. DDR Ultra Mix 3. And the last two are Xbox exclusive, so that's a plus. Uh, Karaoke Revolution. Uh, one of my closest friends, his mother loved that game for a very long time, so that's actually kind of a funny thing. Uh, uh, Major League Baseball 2K5 with the uh, extra DVD. So uh, that was pretty cool. World Series Edition. Uh, get the rest of the stack. NASCAR 06 will be one of the games I probably will never play. I'm not I'm not a NASCAR fan whatsoever. Can't stand it. Uh, MVP Baseball, uh, NCAA Baseball 06, ESPN 2K5, NHL 2K6, NHL 07, or, yeah, 07, uh, Rugby 06. Again, some of these need to get labels off, so I'll be eventually doing that. Uh, NCAA 06 football. And the last one is World Series or World Poker Tour. So those were my grabs. Uh, 
before I get into the two parts. The last thing will be the big reveal of the new thing I got. This, uh, <laughs> this thing that I picked up did cost me uh, over 200 bucks. Uh, <laughs> so it's a pretty big expenditure. And then again, uh, for the winner of the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, W, which will be loaded with games and a case and all that good stuff, uh, the five con it's the entries are in order. Gamer Alley will be the first dead thumb thumb gamer to G C R P Tech and Gaming three. Uh C N John Funny John, he's number four. He's always coming in my videos. I appreciate you. Uh and Meatball Man at number five. So I will get to showing you the screen and who's gonna win. So stay tuned. Hello, this is DexmanRandom.org. And there's numbers one through five. I have not hit it yet at all. So I'm going to do the first one. We'll get it. So winner will be number four, which is CN John. Funny John, congratulations. I will be commenting you that you have won this contest. So stay tuned. Hello, this is Dr. Xmay. I am back. And if you're ready for the reveal, of what I grabbed, give me a hell yeah. Okay, anyways, I can't hear you, but what I grabbed, or got, is this Raspberry, or this Game Boy Zero. Uh, for comparison, here's my regular Game Boy. It's the same exact size, and it's the same exact case, it's just modified and fit with a Raspberry Pi in it, uh, Raspberry Pi. Zero W, similar to the one I'm giving away on my channel. Uh, this was over 200 bucks. Um, it was a uh, spur of a moment. I bid it on it. I did not expect to win. I won, so I had to pay up because, you know, that's the deal. <laughs> you know, you sucker yourself into uh, bidding on this. You will, uh, you have to pay. So, I did. Uh, I came from all the way from, uh, BC, Vancouver, Canada. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to load this thing up with uh, ROMs and do a uh, more in-depth video on this. Um, it does have a rechargeable battery back here. Um, I literally just got this uh, a couple hours ago. So there are no ROMs in it. You can see it as a battery. The screen is a lot bigger than... The original Game Boy. Obviously, it's a colored screen too, so that's pretty cool. Additional buttons so you can play other games. There is no analog, so uh, certain games will not work on this. But uh, I am overall pretty happy. I mean, it's going to be very similar to my GPD, where it can play a lot of games. Um, this one is a little bit more nostalgic since it's a Game Boy and. Um, I did have a Game Boy. I was more Game Boy Pocket in color around my age, but I did play the Game Boy, and I did have one before trading it in for a pocket and then to a color. But uh, extremely excited about this. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below, and congrats to uh, C N Funny John for uh, winning this giveaway. I mean, he comments on a lot of my videos. He definitely deserves it. So, uh, congrats, and I will get in contact with you about. Uh, sending out and also I'll be doing a <laughs> hopefully I'll be doing the uh, the ultimate Raspberry Pi install so you can uh, do cool stuff like this uh, comment subscribe until next time this is Dutch May make sure you guys get your game on peace